So, John, a 4 0 win, is that a bit of a monkey off the back, does it feel like? Oh, to a degree. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about uh, uh, pressures and things like that, but as a playing group, we haven't really felt pressure. We've just been a bit frustrated, really. I mean, we've, we've been playing okay in patches and, and really well in other times and just not getting results and, and the ball will fall our way. So it's, uh, it's a good start, 4-0. Um, it's more important the three points and a clean sheet. From my point of view, that was, that was the most important thing. And uh, we go to Perth with, with a bit of confidence. Turning point, maybe, then? I oh, know every game is important, so it doesn't really matter uh, what, what time of year it is. But uh, we've been building and building and building, and hopefully now we can continue on. It, w it was a clean sheet, but they should have scored twice. What are the errors that are still going wrong? Do you think in the defence? No, there's the way we're going to play this year. It's exciting, it's entertaining, and, and, and we're open. You know, you can see in the first ten rounds, it's the way that we're going to play. It's attacking brand of football, and when we've got the ball, we're, we're very stretched and wide. And when we do make mistakes um, we can be caught out a little bit and uh, hopefully we can rectify a few little errors that happened on the weekend but um, that's going to happen in our games going to be entertaining and uh, hopefully we can score more goals in the opposition that's what the coach wants to do and he prefers to uh, to kind of win 5-4 than 1-0 so that's uh, that's uh, what he wants to implement and that's what we're going to try and do. On the coaching the group they seem pretty emotional after the players seem like they really wanted to win for, for the coach is that uh, was that spoken about or is it just something that happened naturally? Oh, it happened naturally, you know. I mean, he's a he's a great person first and foremost, and and a, and a fantastic coach. And you've got someone around you that really protects you, and you feel like you want to play for him. It's uh, it's the ultimate uh, combination, really. So, I mean, you could see from the first guy on the weekend went to him because uh, we all know how much he means to us at the moment, how much uh, he's important to the club, and the fans respect him. So, uh, it was a nice moment. Realistically, you, I mean, being have registered a win since round one. Uh, the coach was all, all happy to say that the, t the game was developing and so forth. Realistically, how much did you need the win? Oh, we need to win. We need to win every week, really. Um, like I said, it wasn't really the pressure that people have been talking about. It's just the frustration. Um, so uh, it, it doesn't stop stop here. You know, we, we've, we've got that little monkey off our back, so to speak. So uh, we need to go on with it and continue a little run of form over the Christmas period and then building up into, into the new year. What's more important, mate? Winning or the style, do you think? It's a difficult one. It's uh, obviously you want to play a certain way, but human nature and our, in our game you want to win as well. So it's uh, you know, I think they're they're linked to a degree. So it's a, it's, a, it's a hard one to say, you know. And previously as players we've been playing you know quite well and, and not getting results, and that's where the frustration comes from. So uh, it's uh, I think they're linked. The players all back, Joseph. Yeah, to a T. What did you think, or what do you make of the problems at Perth over the last week? Yeah, interesting times at Perth. Um, it never seems to be done in the A-League somewhere, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about it. Obviously, there's, there's a bit of tension there, and hopefully that could, will continue this week and, and, and it'll flow out into the field on the weekend. And um, That's, you know, obviously obvious thinking from our point of view, but, you know, once once they go out in the field, they're going to be a good side, and, and, and that's what we need to focus on, not, not what's happening off-field, but um, I don't think it's all well. How unusual is that, mate, captain and a coach not speaking? Yeah, it's, it's unusual. I mean, I'm sure... Bernsey and, and, and Ali would try and sort their differences out. It's not, it's not an ideal situation, but you know they're more informed to, to comment on that than I am. But um, it's not ideal. You must know Bernsey pretty well. What's he for a lot? Yeah, no, Bernsey quite well. He's, uh, he's a tough guy on the field. You hate him. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I've had plenty of run-ins with him. He's, he's a very, very tough player to play against. But he's a person you want on your field every day of the week. So. Uh, it's a tough one to, to comment on off the field. Great guy, so it's uh, you know I, I, I like players like that. You know on the field it's it's a battle, and off the field you're, you're just normal guys. And what's your future, mate? Coming off contract uh, this year, I think. Yeah, no, I just enjoy football really. I just want to play, uh, and that's it. You know when the time's right, we'll, we'll sit down with the club and talk. But uh, now's not the time, and you know it'll take care of itself. The loss of Ferreira, he pretty much kickstarted uh, the run the other day. Um, what sort of gap will he leave? Yeah, Fabs has been in good form, so have uh, a lot of our, our wingers, so give an opportunity for someone to, to, to fill in there and hopefully it's uh, not too long. I think the diagnosis is, is not too bad, so that'll be good news for us. Uh, and uh, it'll give an opportunity for someone to come in and, and play, play a similar role because, you know, in our style we've got that style down packed and someone that comes in is obviously going to know their role very well, so uh, it's important as a player that, that you know that.